Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing what blessings come to the sign of Aquarius, and keep in mind that this will not resonate for all of you. Um, this is for March, so if it's not resonating now, it could later in March because it is supposed to be a prediction. So in the bottom of the deck, for the overall energy, we have the Nine of Swords. Okay, Aquarius, are you worrying here, or is someone worrying about you? Let's see. This Nine of Swords is kind of a card of worry. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Star card. This is Aquarius energy, your own energy. We have the Lovers, Gemini energy, Eight of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Six of Cups. Okay, so I'm going to put a couple things out here. Now, we do have the Eight of Cups, so I do feel that you've walked away from someone. Maybe they still think about you. You're still in this person's mind. Aquarius, I also see with the Lover's card here, if you're already in a relationship, that could improve, that could get better. Um, could be a new relationship coming in your life. What I also see is you collaborating with someone. Three of Pentacles, Lovers speaking about collaboration, things you want to do. We also have the Six of Cups, which does, you kind of look at it, it's a woman and a child. So something about your child here as well, if you have one. Not all of you have child, so don't children, so don't apply that. Obviously, <laughs> every time I talk about a child, I always have someone come on in my comments. There's just that one person. <laughs> Anyways, I get like collaboration. So let's see. On the bottom of this deck, we have the Two of Wands. Okay, Aquarius, you have a goal here. And you may not be really sure on which which path to take towards it, which route, you know, how you approach this, but you do have a goal that you want to you wanna get to. We have the Three of Pentacles, once again. There's that collaboration energy. Six of Swords. Moving very fast towards your goal. We have the King of Wands. This is fire energy. We have the Empress. The Knight of Wands. And then we have the Sun card. Leo energy, yes. Whatever your goal... I see you achieving your goal here, Aquarius. If you apply that action towards it, and I feel like you are. And if you collaborate someone, like a, a fire sign... Possibly a Leo. You now you don't have to, but that is just the possibility. I just get like a, you working with someone on a project. I see you achieving your goal. Like you moving towards that very fast. And I feel like that's going to bring you a lot of happiness and success. So we have number 23 with dreams, vivid dreaming, dream messages, and dream teaching. Okay, so something about your dreams here. You're receiving messages. Your dreams are very important. Number 13, gliding through currents. With a different approach, you will glide through a situation with grace and ease. Going inward and bringing your, your understanding, perspective, or behavior into flow will help your dreams take flight. So, what? Talking about dreams here. Aquarius, you being in this flow energy, that is really what's going to help you. Maybe taking a different approach. Either way. We have Ask for Help. Okay. Number 48, Angel of Balance. You got an angel around you that is trying to help you. Number 18, the Morning Star, Radiance. I shoot for the star, Radiance is my birthright. So I feel like this is you. This is the energy you're going to be carrying into the month of March. Really going for what you want and achieving that. I feel like I'm hearing a couple of things. With the help of someone around you that does kind of have like a, a very balanced and they have a pure essence to them. And also your spiritual team. Then we have forgiveness. Okay. 
So forgiving something of the past, I'm not sure what happened, but that, that's going to be forgiven. So you can move forward. All right, so Aquarius, that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.